Hi everyone. Welcome. Welcome to a super, super special lunch break. So um let's see. Oh, it's funny. We are uh it's just the two of us, so we're kind of like flipping back and forth, but that's cool. Um we uh are so excited to have you. Um it's Jamie and I today. We are, for those of you who don't know, we are the co-founders of Las Comadres, and we're very excited to have you. Yeah, we're super excited to be here and talk to you guys and know what's going on. Awesome. So um, today is actually, so for those of you, so many of you have been following us and actually start a little watch party so more people can, can catch this. Um, for the past six weeks, we have been coming on here for um, every single weekday at noon to share with you the gems of our community and to share the like super good stuff of everything we have to offer. There are so many amazingly talented women in our, in our community of Las Comadres um, in so many different areas. And we knew that they had something really amazing and special to share with all of you. And so now with this one, there are officially 30, right? 30 lunch breaks, Jamie? I think so. Awesome. Pretty close. Yeah. Because we had some days off on the weekend, so we did not have all 30 days, but we are like pretty close, like I'm 27. Sure. So now we get to go back and count like how many women participated and how many days we actually did. We moved all of these on YouTube. So if you actually go to youtube.com slash Las Comadres, you will be able to find us um, and see all of the all of the incredible women that shared. I mean, what were some of your favorite lunch breaks, Jamie? Um, I really liked the holding space for the world that was yesterday it was really Ooh, was powerful. Um, I loved in the beginning, uh, the one about being home with your kids and like how to like kind of manage school and all of the things sort of right as we were starting. Yeah. Um, what were yours? I, um, I love the astrology one. So that oh, one that was great. And the, the one about um, creating a beautiful home office. That that one was like one of my favorites as well. It was like, so I was like, I just wanted to bring all of you guys into my house and let you create for me. <laughs> and um, to be totally honest, also like from a super practical standpoint, I only felt comfortable applying for PPP funds and like understanding what my financial situation was gonna look like now after I watched that lunch break. Like after I was like in that conversation. So yeah, there's a lot of super practical things for your business from like, how, you know, how to think about pivoting your business and how to get creative with giving back right now. So we definitely invite you to check out all of those lunch breaks. Um, they've been really amazing. And so today um, is the last lunch break that we're going to do uh, in this round where we launched this program and did it daily. So going forward, we are going to do, we're, we're like considering doing weekly lunch breaks. So that's something to keep an eye for, an eye out for. We will, we loved, we fell in love with this format. And I think that it's time to, to start like a more sustainable way of showing up in this way for all of you. So we just wanted to kick it off by thanking you for the support um, over the past few weeks. And, and we hope that you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Cool. And so Jamie, you want to tell us about what's going on next week? And hi, Daniela. Daniela's waving. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daniela. Um, so next week we are opening our doors. We are inviting in the next round of comadres. And it's super exciting because we're going to be able to have people from all over the country, all over the world, be able to join us. Um, we are doing a lot of stuff. We are doing preliminary. I can never say that word. Preliminary? All online. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> online. And then some like, you know, if we have pockets of people in certain places, smaller group stuff and having really the experience be able to extend further than we've ever been. Yes. And I, I feel really excited and hopeful about what this can mean for our community because um, we had originally, so like, this is interesting. And I think it's, I think it's important that we share our process with you because I think it can also serve others. But we had for months, months and months and months, like since late last year, been planning to launch uh, an, oh, we were going to call an online chapter. So we were going to have this whole separate community where anybody from anywhere could join. 
um, as because we had our South Florida chapter. And I think that the pandemic really, um, it placed us in a, in a situation where this was reality for all of us, right? We even have the same thermos that we're drinking out of. How hilarious. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we, it places us in a situation where um, everything needed to shift online. But I think the really magical thing that happened is that we suddenly realized just how special, supported, magical, and powerful the community felt even online. And uh, something that became clear to us is that things are changing um, dramatically and for the long term, and that we don't know what it's going to look like on the other side, and that the, the clearest path and the path with the energy flowing seem to be to open our doors and be more inclusive and create a culture of belonging to welcome comadres from anywhere into the community that we already have that has an incredibly solid, beautiful foundation where there's so many women that can't wait to meet you and welcome you and become friends and support each other, right? Yeah. Cool. And I think that one of the things about it that's really great is like, we have always had comadres that have been a little further, a little further, and now we get to really be able to include everybody in and, you know, everybody can meet and do business with people that are all over the place. Amazing. Amazing. And so one of the things that, um, so yes, so just the, uh, a reminder that when we open our doors on Monday, Wherever you are, wherever you're watching, you are welcome to join the Comadres community if you are a self-identifying woman that is digging what is happening here. Um, and so today, what we wanted to talk about, because um, Wednesday we had like, Wednesday was also one of my favorites. Like Wednesday, we had such a juicy conversation with our madrinas about really the topics that we talk about in this community all the time, about what it means to have girlfriends, what it means to trust other women, because for us, these are the things that are the cornerstone of how we support each other and then create the businesses of our dreams, create the lives of our dreams. And so um, today we thought that the best, uh, juiciest conversation that Jamie and I could have with you is to go over our manifesto and what it means to us how we live it every day in the community and just like really share with you because I think it's the best representation of what we're about and what we stand for. So kind of like we totally invite you to chime in, share your experiences as we're going through this. And um, if this sounds like you, uh, you'll know that like this is for you, you know? Cool. Jamie, do you want to do the first one? Sure. So we will start with the manifesto part of it, right? So it is through genuine relationships with others that you will find what you want. And the first point of this is when you show up open to vulnerability, true connection happens. Jamie, and this is means to you. <laughs> I mean, for me, like this is like the heart and soul of our entire community. We always the idea is is that this is a place to go and land and be able to you know bring your whole self whether that is in total messy I don't know what I'm supposed to do next to full celebration of this is what has happened and I'm so excited and so to be able to show yourself vulnerably in all the different ways I feel like is for women is sometimes really, really hard. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. I think that we, I think that vulnerability is hard for people in general. Like vulnerability yeah. is not something that we encourage. I think women have an easier time of it than men, but it's really not something that we encourage or support or um, present with any kind of like favorable light in our society. And yet that's where all the magic lies. And I know that we have a lot of people watching that are fans of Brene Brown and fans of Glennon Doyle and Liz Gilbert. And I see, I feel like they are women who are pioneering a lot of the, the like the story and even the science behind um, the power of vulnerability. And if that is something that you're interested in exploring, like knowing that this community is totally a space for that. 
because we actually believe that like there you can't have genuine authentic open relationships without vulnerability and so that is something that we cultivate in every experience that we create in every interaction that we have we are encouraging one another to go deeper and to really uh like trust each other and hold each other to it yes cool and that's how we really connect with each other all right exactly all right so, so go yeah. ahead no go ahead <laughs> <laughs> number two is the more you let others in the more you learn to trust yourself Oof. yeah so good yeah i think that trust with self is you know we sometimes use the idea of like not trusting others as a way to like keep ourselves safe but most of the time that is like a sign that we are not trusting ourselves yeah yeah i i mean this is part of the magic i think of this community is how this happens without you even trying because the real the only real requirement in las comadres is show up <laughs> like show up because when you show up to a sister circle, when you show up to a conversation about accountability at co-working day, when you show up to book club or, or just cafecito, which are these conversations that we're having every Monday morning to kick off our weeks together, when you show up to any of those experiences, all you have to do is show up with an open heart and the rest will take care of itself. But it is about, um, being in a space where you're open enough to let other people in and what we now it's like we know this because we have read it a million times but we have also lived it a million times is that when you let other people in and that means that like if somebody is telling you about a problem that they have and they're sad that you allow yourself to show empathy and to hold space for that person and to have a moment of true support and connection and allow other people to do the same for you, right? Um, that when you allow for that to happen, that in turn also strengthens your own intuition, your own sense of who you are, your own clarity and your own ability to trust yourself. And so this loop starts to happen where you start to see how the connection with you and other people is really at the heart of like you like getting the clarity and getting what you need because in being with each other we learn from each other so it's not just like the the like you know like intellectual or rational or practical experiences that i'm like oh she went through that and now i've learned about it is that we really do become mirrors to each other can you talk about that a little bit more jamie like that experience of like how we mirror each other's experiences and how we model things for each other without even like intending to yeah well and marlene just said because we are each other's reflection right yes. so very often when we are like whatever we are seeing in others is either what we are not seeing in ourselves but is there or what we see in ourselves but we push away right yeah. so if you can sit with that you can sit with someone else's discomfort or you can even sit with someone else's joy yes then you get to experience it for yourself yes. and that reflection and that the ability to really be in all emotions and to be able to really trust your own knowing is how you really get to know your true self. Yes. And that like coming back to that like principle that we're basing our our manifesto on that is it is through genuine relationships with others that you will find what you want and understanding that when you are living a life that you are open to um, signs, you're open to synchronicities, you're open to messages, you're open to opportunities to learn and to grow and to see that the world and the universe and spirit, God, whatever you call it, will send you people that will be there to help you in that exploration. And maybe some of those people are going to be like triggers or challenges for you. Maybe those people are, some of those people are going to be um, models for you, right? They're going to show you a path. They're going to show you a way. Like I will share like really personally, there's somebody in this community 
Patty Suau, who um, from the beginning, like I, like you guys, like last a year ago from today, I was so much more closed off and just like emotionally, like there was a wall, like, nope, nope, I'm not letting people in, not like this way. And Patty is somebody who literally wears her heart on her sleeve, like will cry when she feels it, will laugh when she feels it. And like, I saw someone like Patty experience like her full range of her emotions and her humanity. And I was jealous. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, how do you do that? Like, I've been numbing out my whole life trying not to feel feelings that aren't convenient or ladylike or or like make sense right now um, or, or feelings that trouble me. And to watch her be so free with how she expressed her full humanity was incredibly inspiring for me and led me on a path where I started to live like that too. And so like, and you know, I'm st it's still a work in progress, but that's one of the ways like for me that that's super shown up like letting other people in, being able to trust myself and allow all of me to, to be, to come out and to feel worthy. Yeah. And I think that those, like, to be able to see, to see others is like to see yourself. And so yeah. if you can like really experience, like you never looked at Patty and were like, oh, you need to be more ladylike. Oh, I mean, she's the most lady of all ladies, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you never looked at her and were like, oh, calm, you know, tone that down, right? You were like in awe of the emotion because it's so pure and so real and so and all of it that it does. It creates like a okay, I want more of that, right? And the ability to really trust that, to be able to be okay in that is something I hope we can all live with. I think that there's also something really cool that happens in this community. And we started talking about this on Wednesday, but it's like that you catch yourself in all those moments where you judge, like we, like we judge other women for all of these mm -hmm. like ridiculous, stupid reasons that have nothing to do with anything other than like the BS that you have been fed your whole life and that you have chosen to believe. Um, but I think that I have gotten to like, you know, like I'm, I'm a pretty extroverted, social, outgoing person and I've feel like through Las Comadres I've been able to recognize and appreciate um, the beauty and the power and the connection with all different kinds of women and personalities in a way that I never had before like I have more introverted friends than I ever have you know like I just it just used you you kind of have an opportunity to shed all those notions of like this is how I am and these are the people that I'm friends with and this is like like no like you realize that you can connect with so many different kinds of people when your values are aligned when you want to when your missions are aligned when you want to create the same kind of world you know and I think like you need them like it's it's like seeing all the parts of yourself right in all the parts of all the people around you right like if I was around all people just like me, I mean, it would be a very loud and exciting experience, but like we would probably all like pass out because it's so exciting, right? So we need, like, I need some serious introverts to be like, okay, like we're gonna be grounded and calm. And I need some total woos to be able to be like, we're gonna do magic over here. And I need some like super business minded, like analytical people so that I can express that side of me as well. And I think that the more you can draw those kinds of experiences in and those people in, you feel more whole. Yeah, yeah, totally. And that's a great segue to point number three. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was number three. Look at that. Look at you. So <laughs> point number three in our manifesto is your whole self, your whole self, light and dark, is welcome here and is enough. We want to know her. Jamie, take it away. I think that there's this part of women especially that we present our best side we present hi this is my angle this is the only part of me you get to see hi right and there's no the mess and the like the whole self right there's no self doubt and there's no it's what like the instagram ready part we don't want to just know her 
she's a piece, but we want to know the whole self and we want to know the light and the dark because everyone is experiencing all of those emotions and all of those things in life and in business and in relationships and, 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 and all of it. And so I think that like to know you have a place to come to really explore all the pieces is such a beautiful thing. Yes. Yes. I think there's so much out there. And I, I, this is like the, the one of the man, the piece of the manifesto that I'm most passionate about is this one, because I feel like there's so many messages out there and even like marketing messages for communities of women and, or like anything geared to women where it's all, and we're talking about this this morning. It's all like all the love and light, right? Like, let me shower you with love and light. And that's all that is needed. And that's all that is necessary. And there is like, zero to like little acknowledgement of our grief, our sadness, our anger, our frustration, our any, any kind of emotion that isn't pleasant or any kind of human experience that isn't pleasant. And some days you feel awful and some days you feel lost and some days you feel frustrated and overwhelmed and burnt out. And some days you feel lost and you feel confused. And we, we need you to know that in Las Comadres, you can show up as your full self. That if you are, this is not the kind of place where you show up only when you feel like you have it all together and you're like all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and everything is great. Like, no, that is not who we want to show up, to show up in that, in our space. One of the, the things that I'm most proud of is that Las Comadres really feels like a place where you get to shed all of the roles that you play, right? Like, the mother, the daughter, the partner, the like everything, like just shed everything, like the the work, the person, the professional, the PhD person, whatever, share it all up and just show up like as you are, like at your core, the woman that you are, that is how we show up and how we show up for each other. And when you shed all of those roles, you also shed all of the expectations of what you are supposed to sound like what you're supposed to say, what you're supposed to be like, you kind of just are able to be fully who you are. And we want to know all of you. We don't just want to know the shiny parts. Like we want to know the full human that you are. Yes. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. All Jamie, right. So the next one is your favorite. <laughs> the next one is my favorite. Growth lies outside of your comfort zone. Yay. Yay. This is like, to me, this is like all of life, right? Like if you can really step into this idea that we have created a bunch of boxes that we have fit ourselves into and whether those have been created by society or our parents or ourselves or our partners or, or whatever, there's always this space outside of that, that you know in your head I would love to go to, but we convince ourselves not to, right? So it's like the idea that you have a space to be in that you're like, this is a little bit of a crazy idea. I'm going to do it anyway. This is a little bit of a push for me. Can you give me some support? You know, there's so many women in here, which I think is like the most interesting that going live on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or wherever is like the thing that gives them a panic attack, right? For a period of time. Like if you have just started your Instagram or your Facebook or whatever, or you've had all this and it's been like very beautifully shiny and you're like, they never just see me, <laughs> right? We have like, there have been so many people that this is this little tiny hump that they go over that feels like this giant, giant mountain. And then when they do, it's like, oh my God, I did it. And like, how many times has it been this great thing where they can call someone and say, hey, I'm gonna go live at this time. Can you watch it and have questions for me? How many times have you seen like the commodities like rally? They like see it coming and they're like, oh yeah, 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 this is great, this is great. And then you feel so supported in it. Yes. Yes. I mean, I think it's, it's almost hilarious, like how often 
after they do the scary thing, they're like, I can't believe I was so afraid of that. Like that was it. But that like happens to all of us. Like, right. Every single time in your life that you've accomplished something new and you've done something that's been outside of your comfort zone. After you do it, you're like, wow, like I was so much more afraid of the buildup to the thing than the actual thing. And yes. that is something that we really hold space for in Comadres. And I think going live is a perfect example of that because something that happens all the time in the community is, is like, that's some, that's a great example of something that a lot of the women will try out. And it is because it feels so safe in that space. It feels like you won't be judged to the contrary that, you know, you can just show up and say, Hey guys, I'm feeling kind of nervous. This is the first time I do it, but I just want to try it out and I want to do it in a safe space. And so I want to do it here. And so people will go live in the Las Comadres community and they'll recognize their own power. They'll recognize their own courage. And then it'll ser serve as a jumping ground from there to continue to show up that way. Um, but for me, like for me, this man, this point in particular is all about the fact, like, for instance, for me, like I grew up getting really good grades in school and like with like not a lot of effort and then feeling like, okay, cool. So like, that's what I got to do in life to like be okay. Like with a little <laughs> bit of effort, I get great grades and then I just sit back and I am praised and then like, I'm good. Like, this is what I do. And so obviously this, um, way of life gets you to a place where you don't really try new things that you might be bad at, where you don't really take risks or you don't really put yourself out there. If, because if you fail, and if I fail and I didn't get an A, then I would be a failure. Then there would be something wrong with me. Then I would be I like how an A and failure, are, oh, there's no middle. Those are the only row. <laughs> only two options. And so like, it's, it's fascinating, right? Like the stories that we tell ourselves um, I mean, I think like a lot of it, when you're a kid, it's like the environment around you, but then it, as an adult, it becomes just the story you tell yourself. And to this day, I still have trouble, um, stepping out of my comfort zone. I do it a lot more intentionally and with a lot more support, which is the beauty, the beautiful part of the community is that all of us are trying new things and that being outside of your comfort zone is a requirement to be in Las Comadres because even I think the choice to believe in the power of women supporting each other is feels revolutionary considering the amount of patriarchy that we still live with every day. And so even that is a bold move. And so you get to follow it through by continuing to take steps and moves that get you outside of that comfort zone and know that you are supported through it, right? Yeah, and I think that like the comfort zone is all what we create, right? So like, you know, for some people, like they're like, going live is easy, right? No, no problem. But then the idea of, you know, putting out a newsletter or the idea of, you know, doing something like really big, like speaking on stage or doing something that like, there's always something. There's yeah. is your comfort zone and, you know, applying for, you know, some larger position or some kind of thing that is, whatever your heart and soul is and some of it is totally personal right like the idea of like I can be super successful in business but the idea of like having girlfriends or the idea of you know like doing something creative whatever your comfort zone is it can always expand and that expansion is like what we love we love to draw that in. We love for you to be able to see more of yourself and to really be in that space. Yeah, I think that that's also like a great opportunity to bring up the diverse nature of not only the women in our community, but also the, the diverse range of things you might be working on or things that might um, be a priority for you. So we are a community of women with an entrepreneurial spirit. The vast majority of women in here are either have a business, want to create one one day, have a deep passion project, are like in a deep, they're just in a creative pursuit in their lives. Um, and within that, there are women who are badasses at their job, who really are in comadres because they know they need more girlfriends. And maybe they also know that they want accountability to start dating again or to improve their relationship with their mother. Um, part of what we're really proud of in this community is that 
it's not like, yes, it's a group of entrepreneurial women, but it is about our full lives. It's not only about business. So we are talking about shadow work. And then we talk about sales funnels. Like we like take it all the whole scope of everything. Like we're in it. And that there's, as Jamie was saying, there's opportunities to step outside of your comfort zone in all of those things. Right. Cause like there, there are women whose like issues are going to come up when they start to think about all the different steps that they need in order to launch their business. And there's women whose stuff is going to come up when they have to go on a first date yep. and like that we can all be there for each other through all of it. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So our number five manifesto is you are supported. Believe it and act like it. Oof. You could spend like a lifetime talking about that one. <laughs> I think that this is the kind of thing that like whatever you are trying to prove, you will see, right? Yeah. So if you really think to yourself like, and sometimes it is a never ending reminder that you are supported and you really believe it and you act like it, your life is going to change in amazing ways. If you can show up with the energy of like, I don't have it all together. I need support. Needing support is not weakness. That's like a major strength. If you can be like, hey, this is my thing. I need this from you. You get that that other person gets to give you something. It's like this idea of this like amazing present that gets to be passed back and forth. And if you're like, I never need support, you are refusing that person their gift to give to you. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, this is a massive one. And I think for me too, I've been talking about this a lot. Like I have this, I have this, one of my like favorite BS narratives is that I have to do things alone and that I am alone. And so (laughs) to me, like to live my life reminding myself that I am supported and have that be more than just words. That's why we follow it up with believe it and act like it. So in believe it and act like it, what does that mean? That means that if I feel sad and I feel like I want to, sometimes I feel sad and I just want to be sad by myself. But if I feel sad and I know that like talking to someone else would support me, that means that I have like my people on speed dial that I can call and be like, I'm sad right now and I need some support. That means that if I'm working through something like even, and this happens all the time in Las Comadres, right? Like you're trying something maybe technical that it's the first time you try it. You're like, I'm trying to upload this or clip this video to upload it to YouTube. And I've been stuck for the last half hour, help. That's another way to be supported. There are so many different ways to be supported. And I think that so many of us, like to me, I feel like, there is such a strong ethos of like, I'm going to pull myself up by my bootstraps and I'm going to do this on my own. And I'm going to be like, there's, I get so sad when I see all those memes on Instagram about how like, like F everybody else and you can't trust people and like, you got to do it yourself and like F the haters. And I'm like, who are these people's friends? Like what is going on in their lives that like they have so many people that are negative and hating on what they create in the world. Like, man, is that your context? Like you can change that. Um, so yeah, like a hundred percent, like what would it look like and feel like for you to acknowledge that you are supported in this world and that you get to believe it and act like it. And that is a commitment that every single woman that joins this community makes when she walks through those doors is I commit to uplifting every single woman here. And like, that's what we all do for each other. And I think that in the supported part of it is this idea too, that you don't have to be doing something all the time, right? I think that there is this idea that we like, okay, you're always pushing a project forward or you're always, you know, improving and moving and doing all this stuff. And like, sometimes being supported means just sitting in the integration of it all. Sometimes being supported is, you know, like we are seeing right now in this moment, right? There are people in this community that are creating beautiful and amazing things. And there are people that are like, I just have to sit here for a little bit. And both are perfect, right? 
some people are trying to deal moment to moment with lots of kids being home and trying to just like stay on top of day to day. And that is perfect. And you are supported as well as someone got this business idea and they are like, I'm running with it. This is amazing, right? And both can be happening at the exact same time. And those experiences are absolutely perfect. I think one of my favorite experiences in Las Comadres is of the women who maybe haven't, um, maybe they've been on the quiet side, like they've been observing and they've been kind of listening and just being in that experience. And then like three months later, they pour their entire heart out of how the listening and observing has absolutely transformed their lives and all the amazing things that they are now ready to do. And like, they are there stepping up, following the behavior that they just saw, which is showing up and asking for help and believing that they are supported. And so like, that to me is my absolute favorite, which is why I think it's really important to stress that this community is so much more about being than doing. It's about learning how we can be and live knowing that we are supported, knowing that we are whole, knowing that we get to step outside our comfort zone, knowing that we can trust each other and be vulnerable. Like that, those are the ways that we learn to show up every day in this community. And there is no one way to do it. You are not going to walk in. We're not going to give you a formula. You get to figure out for yourself what that looks like, what that feels like, how you want to create your own experience within the community. Yeah, and I think that there's, there's plenty of things that happen in the community all the time. Our Facebook group is really active. We have three major events and then there's always extra stuff that gets added in. And if you are like, I check Facebook once a week and I you know, want to go to one thing a month, that is perfect. If you're like, I need super like touch points. I need to have an accountability group and I want to go to every single event and I want to like participate on every single thing that is going on. That is perfect too. Everybody is in the same general experience and you get to experience it however makes you feel your best. And there is no guilt on either side. A hundred percent. Like you really, really do get to make this experience your own. And when you hear the, the testimonials and the feedback from the women in that community, you see it a hundred percent. Like you see how they have just taken like the heart and the magic of that community and translate it into their, it into their lives in different ways. And sometimes like even by season, right? Like, so right, like, let's say like, if right now you're feeling like this is a season of, of creating and of support and of being there, like you go all in with that. If it's a season of relationship building where you go all in with that. And if it's a season of like being more introspective and reflection, you allow for the community to be in support of you and that, like whatever it is that you need, we are there for you in the ways that you need us to be there for you. Exactly. Cool. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them into the Facebook chat. We uh, would love to answer any questions you would have about this. Um, we are obviously super close to it and know all the little ins and outs. And sometimes we forget what people don't know. So we yeah. would love to know what you guys want well, to know we about asked the community. Us to share exactly what Las Comadres is and why we started it. <laughs> That was how we were supposed to start this, but then we got we start, but we're excited. That's cool. That's cool. We will, we will do it now. So Las Comadres is a community of women with an entrepreneurial spirit. We are now um, an online community. We will continue to facilitate in-person gatherings that are more intimate as soon as that is possible, but we are an online community open to women everywhere as of Monday. Um, of women with an entrepreneurial spirit. And I would say that the things that the women in this community have in common is that they are, they are soulful, they are creative, they are excited to support one another. Um, and they are really craving a support of, sis of sisterhood. And for me, like the larger mission of this community is to reclaim sisterhood. I feel like sisterhood as, is used as a catch term and 
I love that in our community, we actually live it. Like the beauty, the messiness, the, the juiciness, the support, the magic, the trust, like all of what sisterhood actually means. Like we get to live it every day in that community. Um, and the reason that um, it was created, it was because like we had, I'd been a business coach for several years working with women entrepreneurs. And we had kind of an informal community that started um, getting created and we would get together uh, from time to time, maybe like a few times a year. And every time we got together, it was so special. Like people got together and became friends just from like meeting up one time. People um, had business collaborations. People were just wanted more of each other. There was that sense of camaraderie, even if it was the first time that you had met. And like, it became something that was like, they were like, we can't keep doing this randomly. There needs to be intention here. And it was the reality that like outside of those meetups, there were so many women entrepreneurs that were feeling incredibly lonely, incredibly disconnected. Like they didn't know where to turn to for help. Like they were like, they were on their own with whatever their venture was. And I realized that we were like all feeling that way. And that if we created a space where we could come together with intention and with a clear commitment to support one another, like what would be possible? And so that was a year and a half ago. And now we are here um, more than a year and a half ago. And now we are two here. years at this point. Yeah, it's gonna be two years at the end of the summer. So yeah. Yeah, and now I this, think that for it. all the non Spanish speaking people, oh, this is a question we get very often. Do you need to speak Spanish? No, no, <laughs> I speak teeny, teeny, teeny bits of Spanish that I usually learn. Here. They can say cafecito, and that's about it. <laughs> I can say cafecito and comadre. Madrinas, <laughs> I'm learning lots of words. It's yes, good. yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, can you tell us what the word comadre means? So comadre is what mothers and godmothers call each other. And so in Latin American Hispanic culture, uh, when you have someone be the godmother of your kid, you call her your comadre. But it's also used very much as a term of endearment, like just, hey, comadre, like my girl. Um, and, but it is, when you really think about it, it's the person that you trust the most in the whole world because it's the person that you would trust with the most important part of your life. And so for us, Comadres was the vision was for it was beyond children, like, why aren't, why don't, why, like, let's become guardians of each other's dreams and of each other's successes and of everything that we get to create. Like, we are here in full support of that with you. Like, we are carrying this with you. Um, and it's, it's really beautiful. <laughs> it really is. And that's, I think that like every time you, like every time that is explained, like I get chills like all over my body. It's such a good example of like who you can get, like let hold your dream. And that to me is such an important piece. And that it's not something that you're meant to carry yourself alone that, you know, like I have this thing like on my board, it says no one does it alone. And really yep. remembering that. And I think that for, it's like joining a community like Las Comadres gives you the chance to just, um, to, to kind of like make a commitment to that in your life, right? Like if you join Las Comadres and you show up three times a month, you are gonna be blown away by the magic that starts to like infiltrate in your life without you even realizing it. And so like, you know, not worrying, oh, like I need to join, I need to be part of like, uh, I want to have time, like make it a priority because that's another really big thing that we do in Comadres, another really big piece and one of our values is accountability. And so we're going to do this in the most loving way possible. Like we are going to like, say what we talk about all the time, it's like, we are going to light the most loving fire under your ass so that you <laughs> step up and do what you have full potential and desire to create. So when you, you know, like don't do the things you said you wanted to do, we're not going to be like, oh, well, like we're going to be like, no, wait, what happened? How can we support you? Like what is missing in your life so that you, so that you can make this a priority? And so I would urge you watching and listening right now, do the same for yourself. You know, what, how can you, if you, this is really resonating with you, how can you make sisterhood a priority in your life? How can you make community 
and being in full support of other women and other allowing other women to be in full of support of you, how can that be a priority in your life? And is that worth three hours a month? And if the answer is yes, we open on Monday. <laughs> we would love to have you. And I think that that's a big piece, right? Like as women, it is hard to put ourselves first. It, you know, the thing that we hear over and over again is like, I don't have time. And when you really look at time, it's like, okay, but is it does it change it when you say that's not a priority, right? Like, okay, I really need to work on this part of my business, but I don't have time is very, very different than I, you know, it's not a priority. Like sometimes when you say that you change the words out, you start to see that this is like, it makes you sad. Yeah. Oh, I really do want that to be a priority. And I am sad that I am not making it a priority. So like the ability to have a space to go, to make that a priority, to make that commitment to yourself, I think it's a beautiful space. Yes. I will never forget that the moment that I learned that exercise, I had been putting off making an appointment for my son at the pediatrician. And I had an opportunity to say, oh, I don't have time to make the appointment. And then I said, no, making an appointment for my son at the pediatrician is not important. And it was like, oh, what? <laughs> like, and in that moment, realizing like, wait, it is important. And, and that, that little moment for me, like that feeling of like, oh, like I'm not feeling good about this. I get to change it. To me, that little feeling is like that manifesto bit about growth lies outside your comfort zone, right? Like I am not going to allow myself and uh, these my comadres are not going to allow me to keep, keep BSing myself about the things that are standing between me and what I want, right? And so they are going to be mirrors to my experience and call me out when I'm not holding myself high, they're going to hold me high so that I can move through this stupid block and get to the thing that I say, keep saying I want to create. So it's yeah. actually like, it, it just feeds itself. But like the thing that I want to stress is that we have created the most safe, loving and juicy environment for this to happen. Nobody is going to yell at you. Nobody is going to shame you. Nobody's going to make you feel bad for not doing the things. Like it's just something that becomes like the things that felt insurmountable feel easy. The things that felt like felt difficult feel like, wow, like I can actually do this now. Like I'm not as scared as I used to be. And I know that like, I'm going to walk through those doors that I was afraid of walking through, but like, I got like 120 women holding my hand, you know, and like walking with me and it just, everything feels so much more like doable and supported all of these things that you've been afraid of stepping into we can do it together exactly and that togetherness is something that i feel like is hard to create as adult women right the thing that we hear over and over again is it's hard to make friends as an adult right it's hard to like find the time and the space and the whatever and it's like there's something a lot of people have told us over and over again. It's like, it feels like a little bit of a pre-qualifier, right? Like, oh, I'm going to go into this space and these women are like me in some way. These yeah. women are, they have the same hopes and dreams in some space that's the same as mine. So it's a little bit easier to create what you're looking to create. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, even in that, we have some women that do want to take it a few levels deeper in terms of the kind of guidance that they are receiving and support and coaching through their experience of building their business. So we actually launched something in January that we're really proud of. Jamie, do you want to talk about the, the coaching tier? Yes. Yeah, so we have a coaching tier. We have two meetings a month where we have coaches from Comadres. We have some of the best coaches and they show up and teach you something twice a month. And it's everything from mindset to marketing, to online marketing, to, you know, uh, the way your brand, your branding looks and how you get there. And it's all of this very, like, it's a place to bring your questions and a place to really like explore growing your business. Um, me, me or Gabby are on each call. We have both been coaching for a very long time. So we really like 
help hold all of the people accountable for what they say they want to create. So they come in with accountability of this is what I declared last time. Did I do it or did I not? And then like, this is what I'm declaring for next time. And there's something about being in that space that where you know the other people are doing the thing and there's people to reach out to, to hold you accountable for the thing that you want to create. Totally. And um, just so that you can like, if you're already starting to feel like this might be for you and you want to learn more, um, I'm actually going to share right now in the comments, I'm going to share the link to sign up to get on our email list. So that is the absolute best way that you can um, make sure that you're going to get the latest information and you're going to be the first to know the moment that our doors are officially open on Monday. But as you are planning this out and wanting to wrap your head around what it's going to look like, membership in the Las Comadres community is $67 a month. And you can also choose to sign up for the entire year. And when you do that, you get two months free. Um, so that would be $670 gets you Las Comadres membership for the full year, the full experience. And if you are interested in diving a little bit deeper and going into the coaching tier, it's only an additional $30 a month. So it would be $97 a month. Or again, for the year, it's $970. So for those of you out there who have been part of coaching programs before, the idea of being able to be coached throughout a full year on a variety of different topics, to have access to all of these sessions, to know that you're going to be able to go in there twice a month and be held accountable and have a group coaching session for under $1,000 a year is pretty massive. And so we really, really wanted to offer that opportunity and that experience to women because a lot of them were seeking to go deeper. Um, but for a lot of them, it might be either a maintenance situation where they're like between a heavier coaching experience, or it might be their first opportunity exploring a coaching type of relationship and they want to ease into it. And this is the perfect way because with that coaching tier, you still get everything else in the Las Comadres experience, the core experience that's $67 a month. So that's just so you can start kind of wrapping your head around what it looks like. But again, as a reminder, our community has been based in South Florida for a, a good chunk of time now, but on, on Monday, we are opening our doors to everyone everywhere. So if you are a self-identifying woman, um, and you are digging what we're talking about and it's feeling right for you. We are, we can't wait to meet you and know you and open our doors to you. And if you have questions, even after this live is over, please just post them in here. We are more than happy to answer them. Or if you have any questions that you would like to know, reach out to us at hello at lascomadres.club so we can answer anything specific, but our website will explain a lot of the uh, the frequently asked questions and all of that stuff so that you can really, you know, figure out if this experience is for you. Awesome. Cool. All right. And awesome. uh, just that, uh, one more thing. We have two events coming up that we are opening up for everyone. If you want to get a feel into what it's like in our community. So we have um, a Q&A, like a private Q&A with um, Jamie and I. And we also have a co-working day coming up. So co-working is happening next Thursday. You can show up for any part of it between 9, 9 a.m. and noon, um, but you can see what a co-working day looks like for us, what accountability looks like for us. All of that is um, available to you. Uh, and we're opening those events to the public to give people a, a sneak peek into what it's like in here. And we're also gonna have that. The other session I believe is on the 14th. It's, a, it's like, the, I think it's the 12th. It's then the following Tuesday. So on the 12th of May, you can jump in on a private Q&A with Jamie and I, and we can just like answer all your questions. We can talk about the community. We can kind of like be there with you um, and support you through any questions or anything that you want to find out about before jumping on. Correct. I think that's it. I think it is. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching Lunch Breaks for the last month. We yes. fully appreciate you, uh, uh, our community. We appreciate all of you guys for showing up and teaching us amazing things. It's been awesome. And what else? Anything? We love you. Bye. We See love you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.